Hi, welcome to Stories at Work, episodes where I've been telling you stories to help you build your story bank, stories that you can use in business. Let's start today's story. Today's story is about an African-American girl called Dorothy Vaughn. She was born in 1910. She was very good at her studies. She did well through college and she went on to become a professor in mathematics. In 1943, Dorothy joined NACA, the National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics. They had a wing for mathematicians. These were the days before computers was there. So actually human beings did all the calculations of how to put spacecrafts into the orbit out of the Earth's atmosphere. Flight trajectories, re-entry paths, how much heating was done, everything was done by hand by a set of mathematicians. Now this was the time when there was gender and racial segregation. So there was this wing called the West Wing uh, Advisory Committee, which was uh, full of only African American women. And Dorothy was part of that group, fantastic group who was really relied upon to do everything. Now in 1958, NACA went on to become what was NASA later. And in about 1961, One day, Dorothy sees that in a big room that had been prepared for some days, a huge machine was brought in. It was brought in by some technicians from a company called IBM. The ever curious Dorothy kept asking people what this machine was. And she was told that this was a computer. Now, this was what these people were called. Dorothy and her team were actually called computers because they did computing. And now there was a machine called a computer. Every evening after work, she spent time with these technicians from IBM to understand what this could do. And very soon, she realized that all the work she and her team were doing, all the complex mathematical work would be soon replaced with this machine. This would disrupt her world, her team and everything. Without telling her team, she started figuring out more about this machine. She was curious and she became the first person in NASA who could even put on this computer. Then she figured out that this computer to do all that mathematical stuff would need programmers. And she found out the programming language used was called Fortran. So Dorothy went to a public library. In the colored section, she couldn't find any book on Fortran. So she went off to the white section and she found a book. But very soon the librarian came and threw her out. She wasn't supposed to be there. When she went into the bus and was traveling home, She quietly took out the book from under her coat. She had stolen the book. And then she went on to self-teach herself Fortran, spending evenings in the computer when no one was there. She then decided to teach her whole team of 30 African-American women, brilliant mathematicians, in the new language called Fortran. Then NASA announced that they were going to hire programmers to program this machine. That's when Dorothy put up her hand and said, you don't have to hire programmers. Your human computers are already knowing this language. And so that's what happened. They went and then started running this and Dorothy became the center head for running this computer. Dorothy and her team went on to assist many missions, including Apollo 11. Dorothy finally retired in 1971 and has even today regarded as one of the heroes of NASA who helped NASA go ahead in the space war. This story was brought to the public in Margaret Lee Chatterley's book, Hidden Figures, which then went on to become a movie starring Octavia Spencer. What a beautiful story. Where in business can you use this story? Well, whenever you're trying to talk about change and disruption and telling people that change and disruption will happen, but if you keep your focus, the fire in your belly, keep your initiative and keep learning, no matter what discrimination comes, what hurdle comes, you will keep being ahead of the curve. I hope you enjoyed the story. Do tune in to our YouTube channel and subscribe to it so that you don't miss any of these episodes. Join our WhatsApp group so that you can download these stories and share it with your team. And yes, if you find a story worth sharing, do write in to us. I look forward to that. See you next week.